<laughs> and yet you still have to load. Yeah, I know. Kind of weird, isn't it? That we count down and then we have to go to a load screen to count down again. Yeah, I know. Kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, if you have a fast computer, the loading doesn't take too long. It's more of the other people, but... Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. Go ahead, right. you start. All right, well, in the um, top right of this map, we have Agna as the red Terran. That's right, and on the left side of this map is our pink Protoss Ranchinator. I still love both these names, Agna and Ranchinator. Yeah. <laughs> like, where do you where do you come up with these names? And how do you say his his prefix? It's Exia, E X E A. Uh, oh, I see what it stands for. It's e Team E X E, and he's on the A team. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's E, e X E, A Team Agna. All right then. So and, is is he like the Mr. T of the A team? Um, he's he's very very strong. I mean, Agna is one of those Terrans. When he joins Daywalker, he's like the favorite to win. Like he's it's very seldom that he loses a match. Wow, wow. that's he's very 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 scary Terran. Uh, I would uh, I, you know you haven't been around around Daywalker uh, for very long, but uh, very some fair. of the. Some of the people that have that that come in every once in a while, like Legend, like Five Year Old, like Agna, um, STN, um, uh, AG Bonkers, you know these these players. Every time they're in a tournament, people just they they don't like it because uh, they're so they're so good. So <laughs> yeah, I still remember going up against STN on um, yeah. my first match on Friday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will say, I will say, um, I did get him. In the early game, I did get him with some banelings. His army was moving ahead to trying to um, do some early pressure. Yeah. But I had banelings, and they were on move command, so my banelings just ripped his army apart completely. So I was pretty happy about that because I'm like, yes, I did this to a master's player. That means something. <laughs> but but then, he, then he three prong dropped all my bases, and that was kind of the end of it right there. What what race was he playing? Uh, he was playing as Terran. Oh wow! Well, wow, yeah. Yeah, he's a he's actually a scary zerg too, like he can he can play all three races. I, I was telling I was telling you on Friday night I believe that he did win a tournament where he played all three races during the tournament. Wow, I actually wouldn't be surprised about that. I, I haven't seen him play zerg or um, protoss yet, but I mean it's it's really not that oh, hard to learn a new race. Like when I first started out, I was a protoss player. But then I started realizing that when you're a Zerg, your economy skyrockets if they don't attack you. So, just kept on playing Zerg and I've gotten better and better. It's good. Which I'm glad about. Yep. Good, good. All right, looks like exactly the same build for Ragna again. I guess uh, once you win with it, you're going to go with it again. He has his two gas. And he's getting a factory and I would imagine he gets a starport after this. Yeah. I mean... Game paused. Yeah, that's a serious lag. It really is. I hope it's not me. I mean, I doubt it is, but I really hope it's not. <laughs> Game resumed. Alright. <laughs> yep. Well, it looks like this dying SCV in the center is going to be controlling this watchtower. That was his last mission. Control the watchtower. Yeah, that's it. Risk your life so that we may see not even the whole center, just part of it. <laughs> and, and see the shipyard is, uh, you know, uh, this this has been a very popular map when, when it's in the map pool for some reason. Like, uh, people seem to go back to this map if it's in the map pool. Um, the reason why it's in the map pool is because uh, MLG used it for so long that people just, you know, assume that it's there. Yeah, and I've played a lot of games on this map too. I'm very comfortable with it, no matter yeah. what race I'm playing. I'm terrible with... When I play Terran, there's almost a 100% chance you're going to beat me, but even I have a good time playing on this map as a Terran. The second gateway does go down for the Protoss. Meanwhile, in the Terran base, the Starport did go down. He's making another medevac. It looks like he's going to do exactly the same play as he did before. Ooh, but does look he... below, just below the Terran base, there's a proxy Stargate. 
Oh, oh, we we missed this totally. We have a proxy Stargate. Hello. Well, no wonder no, no wonder he only has two gateways in his main base. He has a proxy Stargate on the right side of the map, and that's what's going on, folks. He has a forward pylon here at the Terran third base, and we're about to get a two-pronged attack from the Protoss himself. Void Ray does pop out of the starport, so there we are, up to date right now. Oh man, this drop for the uh, Terran has to get there in a hurry. I don't know if he knows this is coming. He's elevating his units outside the main base. Maybe he knows this is coming. Yeah. Look, he's he just he just ele he just lowered his uh, Hellions down outside the outside the base. He's gonna r run them over to the uh, Protoss base as is. He's not even gonna take his medevacs over. Yeah, but he still hasn't scouted this um this proc he started, which is gonna be good. But if these Hellions can get in and do the damage they need, this might end it for the Protoss player. But this is a this is pretty scary, if you ask me. I mean, he really almost has nothing to deal with. I mean, these Marines can go over and stop these Void Rays, but by doing that, he let his front be open to the attack. Oh, I am watching Agna's uh, point of view. He did not, he had no clue that this was coming. <laughs> he didn't? No, he just like, he just hurt, hurt himself getting attacked, and all of a sudden he was there watching the Void Rays. <laughs> I would be too. It, it sucks to get proxied by and then attacked by void rays. I mean, that just sucks. But at the same time, he's also doing pretty good damage against all these probes. Yeah, the the Protoss has to do two things. He has to micro his probes, which he's not. He has 11 killed right now. Plus, he has to micro his void rays. And one void ray looks like it's about to go down, but it barely escapes out of there. And these two remaining Hellions will be pushed away, which is good. But he is just low way too much. There is just not enough probe to really have a good economy right now. Oh, one Void Ray goes down. The Viking is here to defend. The Marines are here to defend. Watch the Void Ray. Got him. Oh, he loses all three of those Void Rays. Oh, Ranchinator. Ranchinator, that was, that was amazing. I did, I did not see that coming at all. Oh, Ranchinator says he's lagging very badly. 